to the 10-Minute Coach. Welcome to Christian Chaplains and Coaching, where our chaplains learn that a disciple is someone who has moved from being a recipient of the church's mission to being responsible for the church's mission. Just as your personality describes why you act the way you do, your core values describe why you do the things you do. In the context of your mission and your vision, you're going to be passionate about doing certain things and not so passionate about doing others. Your mission will describe what you plan with purposeful intent to accomplish. Your vision describes what you'll look like and become as you make progress. But your core values will define the things you do because you simply love to do them. Therefore, it is really important to understand what your values are. We've developed a core values assessment that works like a personality or spiritual assessment, if you've ever taken one of those. If you're interested, just reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help you. What are some examples of core values? Well, there are many possibilities. Some of them are biblical. Some of them are not. The Bible should be guiding you in choosing what your core values are. By way of example, let me share the core values of our ministry, Christian chaplains, and coaching. These are held and shared by our executive team. First is we're committed to Scripture. We love the Word of God. We want to read it regularly, study it diligently, and help others come to know what it means for them so they can apply it to their lives and live their life for Jesus. This is why we spend so much time teaching from the view of Scripture. It becomes an important element in our life coaching and in the training we offer to our chaplains. The second is leaders producing leaders. We really value that because we help people, we love helping people become more effective leaders in their Christian context. Our desire is to train you so that you can effectively train others so that more Christian leaders are produced and disciples are made. This is why we do gospel-centered life coaching. The third core value for our ministry is passionate evangelism and gospel fluency. We love the gospel of our Lord. It is such good news to know that no matter how badly I mess up, Jesus is there to forgive me. And because of my faith in him, he has saved me from all of the sin I've ever committed. But more than that, he's also saving me right now from those daily messes that this knucklehead continues to do even though I'm trying not to. And he will save me from all the sins I will commit in the future too. This is why we make the gospel central to everything we do as chaplains. The fourth core value for us is missional community and team ministry. We love doing life together, like a family, in community, on mission, together for Jesus in the day-to-day -day stuff of life. The scripture shows believers who are doing life together, having an impact on the non-believers that were surrounding them. So discipleship then, it looks like mentoring relationships and that requires community. So there's no effective lone ranger Christians. The Bible describes the body of Christ and none of us by ourselves are his body. This is why we stress the importance of building community around the mission that God is calling each of us to accomplish. The fifth core value that I'll share today is practicing regular spiritual disciplines. We love spending regular time with God. We believe that growth, both personally and spiritually and in our communities, can only take place when we engage in regular prayer, studying the Bible, journaling, spiritual retreats, and listening for that quiet voice of the Holy Spirit so that we can actually make progress. This is why we stress the importance of having a time, place, and a plan to spend time with Him, and why we include a personal spiritual retreat in our life coaching process. There are many possible core values that you might have. Perhaps you love worship, and you're able to play an instrument. So what do you think you're going to do? Well, maybe you value helping, and possibly you enjoy kitchen work. My wife loves helping people. And so she'll often be found cleaning the kitchen with other people at church. Some who value helping may be able to build or repair things. What do you think they're going to find to do? I value hospitality and family gatherings, but I'm also able to cook. It's always a pleasure to prepare food. So 
I will spend days preparing food for a gathering. Abilities are not core values. You need to keep them separate. But what you do, you will do because of what you value. There are many values to choose from. What are yours? If you can identify your top five to ten core values, it will really help you understand why you do the things you do. You love them. You have passion for them. Therefore, you'll find pleasure in doing them. And this is how you're going to shine in the family that you are on mission with. But if you attempt to do things that are not within the wheelhouse of your core values, then you may be able to do them for a time, but eventually you're going to burn out and stop doing them. So be careful what you volunteer for or you allow someone to sign you up for. Doing things from within your wheelhouse will give you energy, and you're likely to stick with them for a long time. Our coaching process will help you discover what they are. You will use your core values assessment to define the things you choose to do and achieve for your mission and how you reach your vision and how you'll make progress at becoming the person that God wants you to be while you help others do the same. That's part of effective discipleship. As part of developing community that works well together as a team, you're going to need to help each person in your group identify their core values. Have you ever been part of a team or a small group or a church that never really clicked? You try to work together, but you never seem to agree on anything, and maybe you find yourself arguing all the time. That's no fun. This is likely because your community isn't focused on the values that are shared. A core values assessment will discover and define your values while also helping you find the core values for your people that are in your group. An important step in this process before your group starts to perform or goes on mission together is to identify the shared values of the group. This will allow you to find common ground and focus on doing the things that everybody agrees on. What you choose to do as a group should only ever always come from the values that you share. You'll always get buy-in from the group if you stick with that. But if you fail to do this step, you'll find yourself in a dysfunctional community that never agrees about anything. Values that you hold personally, you'll still do things for the people in your group and the surrounding community. You'll still do them for others. But the shared values of the group will define what you actually do as a group. My friends, do you have a core values statement for your life and one for the people in your community. Don't go on mission without one. It's an important step in the process of gospel-centered life coaching. Once this has been completed, you can move on to developing a strategy to move forward. So stay tuned. Next week, the 10-minute coach will explain strategy. By the way, if you're considering a life coach, why not give us a call? Please hit like on this video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned to the 10-Minute Coach. And won't you please support our ministry? Your donations will provide scholarships for chaplains and life coaching candidates who are in financial need. We are serious about the gospel, and we hope that you will join us on our mission.